Hi, I'm Lal Khamzada, and today we're going to look at how to create a brand inside the cloud and how to apply to templates. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Once you're in the home screen, select on any template. In this case, I'm using this template, which will open up in a new tab. Once your document is open, click on Brand. Brand is located on the top left context menu. You'll see two options, Create a Brand and Manage Brands. As there's no brands to manage, we need to create one. Click on Create a Brand. You will notice a small window pop up. You can either enter your company's URL, where Zara automatically assist you with your brand book, or you can skip this and do this manually. In this example, we can use the power of Zara. First step, enter your company's URL. Next, click on Show me my brand book. This will be generated and take you further into the next process. You should notice your brand being created. On the right hand side is a preview of how your brand would be applied when using Zara templates. But yet there's a few changes we can make here. So let's jump into that. First, let's change the brand name. In this example, we're using brand 1. Let's change the logo. Click on the pencil icon underneath logo. Locate your file, select it and click on open. You should notice on the right hand side, the preview will always update according to the changes you make. So let's make some more changes. Let's change the second color. Click on the color square and you should get a color picker. You can enter a hex code or you can use the color scroller within the panel. For this example, I'm looking for something that's closely matches to my brand. Found about there. Once you're happy, click save. Next, let's jump into fonts. By default, Zada gives you open sans. In this example, we want to choose something else. So let's click on the drop down list below. You can upload company fonts, or you can select for most popular. Let's use most popular in this example. Select Poppins, and as you can see, the preview updates. Let's change the body font. Select down. In this example, let's use Lato. Once you're happy with your changes, click on Save My Brand. You should notice your template has updated according to the brand you created. So well done, you successfully created a brand inside it. So let's say we want to make some changes to that brand. Let's jump into that. First step, click on the brand, which is located on the top left of the front text menu. From there, click on Manage Brands. The star icon indicates that the brand will be automatically applied to any template you open inside of. You can activate and deactivate this by just clicking on that icon. So let's edit this and add a different logo for our inverted color. Click on the pencil icon. Here, you will see brand. We can always change this. In this case, we will try to change it to 01, just for this example. Where we want to make our change with the logos, so click on the logo. So we're happy with our normal logo and we want our inverted logo. That's the one that sits on color. So click on the pencil icon. Select your logo that you want to place. In this case, we'll use a white logo when it sits on color. Select the file and select open. Now you'll notice it's been updated here as well in your preview on the right hand side. If you're happy with that in all your further changes, Let's jump to color for this example. Maybe we want to add a different color. Let's click on that. And let's move to maybe a purple and save. And you can notice your different color in your preview. If you have your all changes, click on save. Now your brand is successfully updated. Hope you had fun and stay tuned for more videos.